Cool, you guys. We are on 4.3, and I am super excited to tell you all about isosceles triangles. So remember the word isosceles from yesterday. Let me go up. Um, here it is. Um, if you find the chart that has classifying angles or classifying triangles by sides right here, one of our vocab words we learned was isosceles, and it is when two of the sides are equal. So we're going to talk all special things about isosceles triangles today, okay? Um, and we have a little bit of vocab that I want to make sure that you're okay with. Um, yeah, we can put this vocab on note cards, so nobody panic. I know geometry, I say every single day, we have important vocab to learn today, but um, let's talk about the legs. Actually, I'm going to use the same color highlighter that I have going on here. So in purple, the legs of the triangle are the two sides that are equal. So see the little tick marks um, right here? That means that these are the two sides that are equal. So those are going to be referred to as the legs. Okay, now the base is the side that is not equal to the other two. So the other ones, okay, like simple enough, whatever. We call the two sides that are equal the legs, and we call the other one the base, okay? And so if you're okay with that, you should be okay, hopefully, with these things called base angles. Angle B and angle C are the angles. Remember the difference between an angle and a side. This, my friends, is a side. It's one of the sides of the triangle. And then the points, if you will, this is one of the angles, okay? It's called letter B. Letter B and letter C are um, base angles because here's the base, and these are the two angles that are in between, or that the base is in between of, okay? So I'm gonna do that part in red, the base angles, and then the vertex angle, the last one, it's the other angle that's not touching the base. Do you get it? So vocab. Not a big deal, but those are that's what I'm going to be referring to when we're talking like problems and stuff. Um, there's two things that you need to know about isosceles triangles. If you have a triangle that has two sides that are equal, you now automatically know that the base angles are equal. So in an isosceles triangle, we already knew, we learned yesterday that we have two sides that are equal. Well, fun fact, if you have two sides that are equal the base angles are the same. So for example, if this is 70 degrees, this is also 70 degrees. They are equal. And the flip side, I don't know what these words mean, so don't, like if you read that, it <laughs> doesn't make sense. Don't worry about it. Um, what I'm telling you here is if we have a triangle where two of the angles are the same down here, which is very exciting, then therefore you know that we have an isosceles triangle, okay? So if you see one, you know the other. If you see one, you know the other, okay? They go together. In isosceles triangles, you have two sides that are equal. You also have two angles that are equal, the base angles. Remember this vocab word is the base. That's why these are referred to as the base angles. And don't be confused if I want to take this triangle and flip it upside down, okay? Even though the base is down here, if I flip the triangle upside down, you can take your paper and turn it over. The base angles are still going to be these two, okay? You can turn the triangle sideways. I'm going to flip this triangle all different kinds of directions, and you still need to be able to identify which one is the vertex angle, the two base angles, the two legs, and the base. All right, let's do um, one problem and then we're done. Super quick video. Love you all. Going to give you all this time to get your Delta math done. Okay, um, what do we know here? All right, let's focus on these legs first. Notice that I am using a vocab word, legs, and I'm seeing these tick marks right here, which tell me that these two legs are equal. So that means literally that 2x minus 4 equals 14. They're equal, right? So use an equal sign. In math, if you know that this side equals this one, then that means you put an equal sign in between them. Think of that word equal. That's what these tick marks mean. So I'm going to write 2x minus 4, and I'm going to equal it to 14. Nothing about 90 degrees, nothing about 180 degrees. That is talking about angles. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. Right now I am talking side lengths. Okay, this side is 100, that, or 14, that means that this side is also 14. So I'm equaling my two legs together because it's an isosceles triangle, and now I just have to solve this thing, right? So I'm going to just solve this equation. I'm going to add 4 on both sides. That gives me 2x equals 14, and 4 is 18. 
I'm going to divide two. I know a lot of you already know what the answer is and knew it for a while, which is fantastic. I got x equals nine. Got to cancel my twos there. Um, if they asked me to, you know, a lot of questions on like those, the harder sections on quizzes and tests ask you what's the length of a, b, for example. Well, you already know it's 14, right? Because it's equal to this side. But hey, let's check our work and be confident before we turn in our paper. 2 times 9 minus 4, that's 18 minus 4. Snap! I think I did it right because that shows me that this side is 14 and I already knew that this side is 14. Okay, now let's talk about the measure of angle B. Let me get rid of this so that I can focus my attention. The measure of angle B, okay. Um, here is something important. Remember we talked about how if you know that these sides are equal, that means that these base angles are equal. Snap, I'm gonna write 65 here, okay. But the answer is not 65, right? It's asking me about measure of angle B. That's up here, okay? I know A and C are equal, and that is because these two sides are equal. Those will always go together. If these two sides are equal, the base angles are also equal, okay? Remember, this is the base. It's the side that's not congruent to the other one. Anyways, um, geez, is B like a typo? Is this a trick question? I think I see a triangle here, and I think on the first day of this chapter, we learned that this angle plus this angle plus this one adds up to what, my friends? One freaking 80, okay? In a triangle, all three angles always add up to 180, and if you know two of them, you just subtract, right, and figure out what the other one is. So I'm going to take, I'm going to put an X here, or you can put a B or whatever you want, and I'm going to take with a 65, and I'm going to take the other 65, since those are equal, and I'm going to add X, and I'm going to set them equal to 180, because in every single triangle, the angles add up to 180. When I combine my like terms here, this gives me 130. So I know you can probably already subtract this if you want to. I'm going to subtract 130 from both sides. And I got x equals 50, my friends. Okay, don't forget stuff we learned earlier in the chapter. A triangle angles always add up to 180. Love you all. Let's get the delta math done 100% for all of us. Goodbye.